With one and a half million deaths each year, hepatitis is in the top league of modern killer diseases. The disease takes many forms, A, B, C, D, E, and G. But they're not all as serious or as common. Hepatitis B and C are the most deadly. Almost 400 million people are chronic carriers of one or the other. B is found mainly in Sub-Saharan Africa and Southeast Asia, and C in North Africa, the Indian subcontinent, and in Southeast Asia too. Hepatitis C virus, which is transmitted by blood, kills around 500,000 people a year. There's no vaccine, and treatment is hard to get. With over 5 million sufferers, Egypt, Pakistan, China, Myanmar, and Nigeria are the five worst affected countries. Egypt is a textbook case. In the 1960s, the country was devastated by schistosomiasis, an illness caused by parasitic worms. Doctors at the time used injections to treat it and reused syringes which were not properly sterilized. In 30 years, 7 million Egyptians received this treatment. Some of them became infected with the hepatitis C virus in the process. It then spread to the rest of the population, with the result today that one in every 10 Egyptians is infected. At the end of 2013, groundbreaking drug Sofosbuvir came on the market. Costing roughly 100 euros to produce, its price in the United States is 60,000 euros and 41,000 euros in France. To treat all of French patients needing the drug would cost the equivalent of the total budget allocated to Paris' hospitals. In Egypt, Sofosbuvir costs approximately 1,600 euros and the cost of providing treatment to all Egyptian patients would amount to five times the country's annual health budget. So, this miracle drug is a luxury product, which, without a drop in its price, only a privileged few will be able to afford.